What's up, everyone? In this video, we're doing a recap of the stat modeling strategy. We had a short trading week because of the holiday, and then we had a crazy, crazy um, ending on Friday. We can say there was a lot of volatility and a lot of downwards movement. So uh, the recap this week, it definitely wasn't the best week, to say the least. Uh, some of the short-term plays like GM in Boeing took a little bit of a hit. Uh, I know that Tom closed the initial half of the Boeing play at like plus 70% and he closed the other half um, down a decent amount. So after everything averaged out, it ended up being like a 7% loss. And then GM was definitely a tough play, but across the board, um, the news we saw on Friday was a black swan event. No one saw it coming and it definitely added a lot of volatility and just going into next week, there definitely will be continued volatility um, because whenever we hear bad COVID breakout news or anything like that, um, investors usually, uh, usually do get um, freaked out a little bit. So definitely be aware for that. Um, if the market does continue to fall, we did pick up two plays that would um, benefit, which would be XOM puts and then SMH puts. And then on top of that, we have um, HYG puts and JNK puts. So we're definitely in a good position with that. Some of the longer term plays might take a hit though, like the Disney calls, um, maybe, let's see, like maybe the, um, you know, just some of the longer term plays like XBI calls as well. So um, we do have some puts just in case the market does fall though. And then if we get into the bot plays this week, there were only four because of the short trading week. And looking at, or actually there was only, yeah, there was only uh, three this week, I should say. Um, out of the three, two of them worked very well. And then one of them was a dud. So we can see on Monday, it popped for 90.5%. Tuesday, it popped for 58%. And then Wednesday, it uh, was kind of a dud. And then Thursday, was, there was no trading. And Friday was a half day. So I would say the bot had a pretty good week besides Peloton. But even with the Peloton play, uh, it was Wednesday's play. And then Peloton exploded up on Friday. So I do know that some people banked off of that one. So I would say the bot had a good week, but the swings were definitely a little bit rough because of the crazy volatility and the unpredictable news that we have seen in the market recently. In terms of the premium selling plays, it's going pretty good as uh, usual. The very nice slow and steady way to grow your account. I know Hunter was having some like covered calls with the HOOD uh, shares he had. So that's good. It's uh, great to see. It's a very consistent strategy. And, you know, as always, if you need any help with, you know, shorting options or, or if you have any questions when it comes to premium selling, feel free to just ask a uh, Hunter, Tom, or myself in the Discord and we'll definitely help you out. But either way, bot's doing pretty good. Uh, the swings are a little bit rough right now, especially because of the current market conditions. But even if we do see the market tank off, we do have protection in place. So uh, with that being said, I look forward to the next week and thank you guys so much for watching this video.